in my last video about Vampire Academy, do you guys remember me saying something along the lines of this? There are things brewing behind the scene for this movie. You will know soon what's going to be happening with Paige to premiere. If you follow me on any of my social networks, you probably already know what happened, but I'm gonna tell you everything right now. already and if you're a subscriber then I hope you do know because I plug this website a million times so I'm sorry this is boring but I do work for a website called Page to Premiere. Page to Premiere is basically a website that follows book premiere adaptations and we just follow the adventures of it and all the news and we let all of our people who follow us know what's going on with their favorite adaptations. Being as that we are an entertainment website we do get the privileges of being press. I joined YouTube basically because I wanted to talk about Vampire Academy. And when I knew this movie was going to come out, I wanted to be the person to head up all the press events for that. But I thought it would be so much fun if Christine from Poem Bananas Books, Andra20, ex Dean May, as her Twitter name is, would come out and stay with me and do it alongside me. So a month ago, I approached Christine with the idea of having her fly out and stay with me so that we could do all these events together. Bear in mind that we had no confirmation of any of these events. And so basically, we were just going by a high percentage of saying, yes, this could happen. Christine flew out to stay with me. And unfortunately, we still had not heard anything about any of the press events. Let me tell you, we weren't expecting anything, but we got everything that we had ever wished for. Yeah! During that week, we had so much fun. We filmed a couple videos that will all be linked down below for you to watch. And we had some amazing Vampire Academy adventures. If you're watching me and you have come from Christine's channel, I want to say hi. And if you're watching and you're watching this on Page to Premiere, I also want to say hi because this video will be up on page to premiere.com because I was covering Vampire Academy for that website specifically. Christine and I went through a lot of trouble, but it was really all worth it at the end. On Monday, February 3rd, we were invited to the soundtrack party for Vampire Academy. But also on that day, The Grove at LA was having an event for fans to meet the entire cast of Vampire Academy. I was thinking, okay, we'll just go cover The Grove event, no big deal, and then go to the party that night. We had so much fun at The Grove event meeting so many fans of our videos and seeing the cast interact with the fans. We got so much footage, and I'm gonna roll the clips now. Vampire Academy! standing out in front of the table where all the actors were sitting and signing things for the fans. We were taking photos and videos so that we could share with all of you guys and it was towards the end of that of that portion of our night where the cast kept looking over at us. 
more specifically Christine and we all know Christine huge youtuber everyone loves her videos and apparently the cast of Vampire Academy has seen her videos. Christine's probably gonna mention this in her video, so if you're seeing my video after hers, then you're gonna get my perspective of it. Dominic Sherwood, who plays Christian Ozera, and Zoe Deutsch, who plays Rose Hathaway, they both pointed Christine out and said, we recognize you, Do you are you the girl on YouTube? <laughs> From my perspective, I was like, what? Wait, wait, Christine, Christine, they're talking to you. And she's like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's me, that's me. Well, she wasn't that happy, but it was, she was more cool and laid back. I would have been like, <gasps> The next portion of our night was the Vampire Academy soundtrack party. Now, we were invited to this party at the very last minute. Really, we got the invite as soon as I picked up Christine from the airport, and it was such a surprise, and we were just like, oh yeah, it's something that we can go to, and this is not all for nothing. Turned out that party was a godsend for us. Basically, the soundtrack party was what it sounded like. It was to debut the soundtrack of Vampire Academy because it came out on February 3rd, and they had Iggy Azalea, who is on the soundtrack. She was going to perform that night. What I didn't expect was the entire cast to show up at the party. They came to party with us. Ready to meet you. Please welcome on stage writer-director Dan Waters, Mark Waters, along with the cast and stars. Give it up for Ashley Charles, Cameron Monaghan, Sammy Gale, Dominic Sherwood, Danila Kozlovsky, Lucy Fry, and Zoe Deutsch. Give it up for the stars of Vampire Academy. Zoe, do some words for your incredible audience out here today. Thank you guys so much for coming. This is so cool. Um, go see the movie, Vampire Academy, February 7th. You're gonna If, if you love the books, you're going to love the movie, and if you've never read the books, you're also going to love the movie, I think. So, I, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. The stars of Vampire Academy, everyone! And let me just tell you, you might just bump into them. They're going to be partying with you guys tonight. How cool is that? That never happens. If you see them, say hi, be nice, don't fight them. from our amazing makeup artist and hashtag bite me but you know we don't want any real human biting here but this is an amazing event and evening once again by the soundtrack out right now on iTunes take all your incredible pictures meet the cast have a blast tonight thank you so much you guys have fun tonight thank you the party was decked out in Vampire Academy posters and stills and I actually got some footage of it so why don't you watch it right now. But one of the cool activities that they have was a photo booth. And these were all the photos that we took at the photo booth. About 30 minutes into the party, the cast who was at the Grove, which was Cameron Monaghan, who plays Mason Ashford, Lucy Fry, who plays Lissa Dragonier, Zoe Deutsch, who plays Rose Hathaway, Dominic Sherwood, who plays Christian, and Sammy Gale, who plays Mia Rinaldi. They were all at the party, including Danila Kozlovsky, who plays Dimitri. Now, Danila had tweeted the night before that he was getting on a plane from Russia 
to come to California. I did not expect to see Danella at that party and he was actually there before any of the other cast was because they were still held, held up at the Grove. This is probably my biggest fangirl moment. If you have not watched my Vampire Academy videos, then you don't know how much I love the character of Dmitry Belikov and how much I love the actor who plays Dmitry Belikov. Let's just say when my eyes set upon the amazingness that is Danila Kozlowski, I'll show you what I did. So I'm walking with Christine in the party. We're making our rounds around the room, you know, to see if we spot anybody that we know. You know, we see a lot of YouTubers and we see a bunch of other press people that we that I that I've known from the past. And um, walking around the bar, there's Nila Kozlowski coming right towards me. This is what I do. myself and Christine a little bit. I'm sorry about that, Christine. I, I couldn't I couldn't handle what was happening to me right then. My brain was like, I need to meet him. I need to have a photo with him. This needs to happen now. So I get out my, you know, lovely, huge DSL camera, which is, you know, what I use right here. And I was like, okay, I, I, I need to get a picture. I, I just need to get a picture with him. I don't know when the next moment is where I'm going to see Danila again. And so, uh, you know, tapped him on the back, said, congratulations on the movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure you're great at it. He was like, he's like, thank you so much in, in, his, in his Russian accent, which I don't want to attempt. So I had my friend, Amy, who also works on page two premiere. Shout out to Amy, who is Oh My Carlisle on Twitter. You should follow her. And she took the picture of me and Danila. And here it is right now. Yeah, I met Nila Kozlowski and I was so happy. And basically that was uh, one of the best moments of that night. But wait, there's more. So by this time, Christy and I were just happy that we were at the party. We really wanted to see the movie early and we didn't have red carpet access at this point to cover Vampire Academy. <sighs> However, we changed that this night. At these parties or events, there are a bunch of Hollywood people, Hollywood executives, actors, who are all at this party. So yes, it's fun to party, but really you need to take advantage of who and what is in the room with you. So I did just that. We met this guy at the party and he was talking to us and we asked him if he was involved in the movie and he said no, but my friend wrote the movie, you know, Daniel Waters, who wrote Heathers, this guy who will not be named, introduced us to Daniel Waters. He was so nice and he brought us over to Dan and we had basically a 30 minute conversation with Dan about the movie that we had not seen yet. Unfortunately, that first conversation, we didn't have the chance or actually the balls to ask if he could get us into the premiere. But I guess we still made an impression on Dan. We decided to go up and ask Dan if he could get us into the premiere. Now, yes, this was kind of ballsy of both of us, but I mean, what were we gonna lose? So what ended up happening was Christine and I wrote our emails down in, in Dan's little notebook, and he promised us that he would get us into the premiere. We were just a little giddy, just a little giddy. And during that entire conversation, uh, Iggy Azalea was performing on stage and we just, we didn't even care. We were talking to Daniel Waters. We felt so sure that we were definitely gonna get into the premiere and everything was gonna work out. So we left that party around 10.30, got dinner and went home. That morning, Dan came through and we woke up to an email with an invite to the premiere. We were so thrilled. I remember just waking up, seeing her text, freaking out. I got up, I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? And where she's like, we got in the premiere. We got in the premiere. And we were just like, we were so happy and I still had my sleep face on and oh gosh. 
Uh, I will not ever forget that moment of waking up and seeing that and oh gosh Dan I did not thank you enough but if you're watching this thank you so much for getting us in the premiere. So the Vampire Academy premiere started at 7.30 and then at 3 o'clock in the afternoon I received an email from our rep. He said you guys have press access to the carpet. Uh, you need to be there by 5.30 if you want this to happen and kind of did a little freak out of that. So not only did we have tickets to the premiere, we were one of the only fan sites allowed on that carpet to cover the whole event. I could not believe what was happening to us. We got our butts down to LA to cover that red carpet like nobody else. Hey everybody, I'm here from Page to Premiere and we're gonna be covering the red carpet uh, for Vampire Academy and we're gonna have so much fun and we're gonna make tonight a bitch. We saw all of the cast members. We got to talk to Daniel Waters, Mark Waters, and his wife. And of course, Dan recognized us on the carpet and said something funny. Hi. Um, oh, hey. Yeah. Hi. I'm Chris. Hey. Did I help you out or what? Yeah, no. you did. What? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> lunch, <right? laughs> okay. Um, so we're from a fan site for Vampire Academy, and I do YouTube for. I know. I, I, I looked up your name. And, um, so we of course are wondering, like, have you uh, have you read all the books before you wrote the book? Yeah, yeah, I had to read all. Like, I had to read all six books before they would even take a meeting with me, which I thought was ridiculous. <laughs> but but it was good, you know, it's good to get a, just yeah. immersed in that world. Have you read Bloodlines? I have to confess I haven't read Bloodlines. I, I'm not doing I, I read all six of the Vampire Academy. You should take a break after Vampire Academy yeah, yeah. when you go to I, wanna, I, I need to sit with Rose Hathaway for now, and then uh, we'll, yeah. we'll see where it takes us. I don't want to know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to know. Um, so if this will be successful, are you both prepared to like, take on the next film? Yeah. Danny's actually working on the screenplay for Frostbite already, and uh, God willing, we have a successful uh, weekend. We'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll start prepping it right away. I got, I got, I got some good Adrian, Adrian lines already. <laughs> Is Adrian? It's gonna like, be Cary Grant. Do you have an idea of who you'd want no, to cast? Not yet. Not yet. At all, no, right? yeah, no, it's fun because like we didn't really, you know, who knew Dominic Sherwood was probably a young, a young boy. <laughs> dancing through the fields in England, and we had no idea who he was, and he ended up being like a perfect Christian. So. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find him. <laughs> yes, we're excited for him. We'll make him work for it. Yeah. There are some awesome lines in this movie, and we want to know, like, what was your favorite line in the in the movie? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, I got one. Um, right and and he didn't cut it out yet, which is great. Um, uh, 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 when Lisa says. Uh, Boys are weak and sweaty piglets beneath our concern. That is our covenant. I'm talking about you and me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I have one. I'm going to put my hand. What's that? Yeah, I like that too. I, I, I also like, you know, the, the Forever 21 lines is one of my favorites. Yeah, like, you know, like, <laughs> no, 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 um, uh, Hot Topic. Oh, no. oh, Hot Topic. Yeah, I know Hot Topic is going to hate us. Listen, oh. you used to like Hot Topic, but then she turned 12. Oh. <laughs> and this is why we don't have official merchandise. Yeah, now there's no Hot Topic merch in this movie. No, 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 no tie ins with Hot Topic. Sorry. I, I already got a scene in Hot Topic in Frostbite. So, yeah, we're all right oh, nice, nice. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We then got to talk to Lucy Fry and asked her a couple of cool questions. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. What did you expect from tonight? What do I expect? Yeah, from the movie and everything. Uh, to enjoy it. To, I'm really excited to share it. And, um, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, that's all you can If you um, could bond with someone in real life, do you think you'd want to? Or do you think it'd be too much of a hassle? And who well, would you be? Great thing, I have thought about it. Okay, okay. I think one of the great things about it is that, especially with Lister and Rose, Lister never has to tell Rose how she's feeling. It's like, oh, yeah. you know already. So it kind of takes the pressure off. So, yeah, why not? Like, who would you pick? I don't know, like my sister. Yeah, or, someone close to you. Yeah. yeah. Who's your dress from? Juliet. It's beautiful. It's, thank you. What was your best, uh, your, your favorite part of the movie? Um, that's hard to pick because there's so many great bits, but we're gonna, we're gonna I think that the climax towards the end is really 
has a lot of journey, as well as the beginning. The, the beginning and the end are both really strong. Have you read all the books? Sorry? Have you read all the books, or did you stop after book one? Or I'm, 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 I've finished number two now, because I wanted to read the first one and just exist in that world while we were filming the first film. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as we finished, I read the second one, and now I'm like, okay, I want to exist in that world so that we can film the second film and I can be in that. But I'm really tempted to read Keep the going. One, so I'm like... <laughs> Just keeps oh getting God. better. Yeah. <laughs> Which um, heroic ability would you want in real life? The power of spirit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Can we get it? Right here, right here, right here. Hi guys, good. How are you? Good. Oh my God, the end. Can't really talk about it, but it's my favorite part. Too. Did were you a fan of the book? I had read the book uh, throughout filming because there was way not enough time. Way not enough time. There was not enough time for me to read the book before. So we started filming because it was just so fast. Are you a fan of vampires? I love vampires. I love anything supernatural. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, mother of the dragon. If you could have a superpower, would you wear? I would be like, actually, what's his face from Heroes where you can like, absorb everyone's superpowers? Peter Pesci. <laughs> We got to interview the very handsome Dominic Sherwood. Do you believe in vampires? No. Why? Because I, I, I think that would be a, a terrifying thing to believe in. <laughs> but what's your favorite part of the movie? Uh, the ending. I loved filming the ending. It was really good fun. I spent. Uh, you watch it, and there's a bit where I'm lying on the floor, and that took like two and a half days when they did the girls around me, and it was just like the tips of my shoes is what you can see. But nah, I was there. I committed. I was there for two days at two in the morning, lying on the floor. Would you say hola Telemundo to my cover right here? Huh? Hola Telemundo. Thank you so much. So wait, 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 wait. Okay. 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 Wait, I have a question. Uh -huh. Who would win in the Hunger Games arena? Christian, Harry Potter. <laughs> Or Edward Cullen? Christian. Duh. Like, the, really? Is that even a, Are you serious? <laughs> if you're rocking on the powers, would you pick uh, I would Christian Sapphire? Yeah, yeah, it's the fire. coolest one. It's because I got to play with it on set as well. Oh, and really? it's really good. They, were, they toyed with an idea for a little while of actually setting me on fire. Um, and then they noticed that I'm pretty clumsy and I'm always touching my hair, and they were like, nah, my we're not, yeah, he'll, we'll end up killing him. So yeah. let's not. We won't give him the fire. Um, Another question? Okay, um, so do you, are you anything like Christian? Like, was it hard to tap into that, like, dark, sarcastic well, humor? I, the sarcasm, I think, I'm British, I've got a little bit yeah, of that going yeah. on. But the, the kind of, the substantial darkness in him, that obviously came from his parents turning themselves to Roy and attacking him, that, that was a little more difficult, because that's something that I had to really dig quite deep yeah. for, and I actually developed the character that wasn't written in... <laughs> Uh, directly in the story, I had to work on that kind of outside, and it wasn't given to me. So, um, yeah, that bit was a bit. It's a really nice backstory. Yeah, Deep I know. Character. Bless him. Have you read the books? I've read the first one, the and first I'm not one. getting ahead of myself. So, okay. If okay. and when we do two, that's when I'll be getting the books. Yes, yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you. Bye. And we even got to stop Holland Roden, who plays Lydia Martin on Teen Wolf. The interview was kind of awkward just because we didn't have any questions for her, but I mean, we got to talk to Lydia. Holland! Hi! Mom, say hi. Hi! We're from New York. Thank you. Love your outfit. It's so cool. So, are you uh, like a fan of Empire Cat? Are you just here for. Yeah, I just have to leave her. Oh, very cool. Do you know what it's about? I do. I love Heathers. I love Mean Girls. I love the girls in the film. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What's it called? We're big fans of Teen Wolf too. So we just huge fans. Yeah, yeah. You are fantastic. We missed you in last night's episode. I know. I wasn't in last night's episode. I went for the only thing on There's too many like Japanese swords flying around. You need to get a mad call on So many things going on. We're still hoping for a style Lydia get together. Yeah. And we have been watching Wolf, Wolf Watch, so we're hoping. <laughs> we're hoping. Keep hoping. Yeah. All right. Thank we're hoping you. on, I should say. All right, ladies. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Bye. Unfortunately, we're, we weren't able to stop either Zoe or Danella on the carpet, which I'm kind of sad about because they were the, they are the main characters of the film. But we had fun nonetheless, and I hope you enjoyed our interviews and what we got from the carpet. After our interview with Dominic, 
uh, the carpet cleared out so quickly. I, I didn't understand what happened. Like, just no one was there anymore. It was like 7.45. The movie was supposed to start at 7.30. We wanted to get in that, into that theater and get our seats. We got our stuff all packed up, ready to go, got our tickets ready, and into the premiere we went. Usually for movie premieres, um, the director, producer, writer, whoever, um, stands up in front of the entire theater and starts talking about the movie and who's in the movie so that people can give a round of applause. And I got it all on tape for you guys. Michael there, you give us, give us, a, little, give us a look. All right, so thank you up there. <laughs> and Don Murphy and Susan Momberg and Angry Films. Yeah. And, uh, my, and, and my brother, Daniel Waters. Who's here. Very exciting. So yeah, and uh, you know, I think the, the Danny's screenplay took what I loved about Rochelle's book and just made everything even that much more potent for me. And we were very excited to uh, launch into finding actors for this. I think we ended up getting great ones. Um, you know, I, I want to introduce a few of the uh, the great young cast in the movie, and there's a lot of young people that uh, are are doing some of their, their first great work in movies. We also had some adults in the movie. Um, uh, we had the stunning and amazing Olga Kurylenko, who's here tonight. A vision in yellow tonight. And uh, <laughs> we had the regal, lovely, and amazingly talented Joely Richardson. Who's here. Peel, who played the role of Spirit on this year, but he was supposed to be, I hope he is. And uh, we'd also like to introduce Dominique Tipper, who played the Guardian Gabriella. <laughs> Ashley Charles, who played Jesse Zeklos, is here. <laughs> Sammy Gale, who's amazing and in the role of Mia, is here. Cameron Monaghan, is Mason. Oh, we got some camera fans here. There you go. I like it. Uh, Sarah Hyland as Natalie. Yes. And uh, the inimitable Dominic Sherwood as Christian. <laughs> and uh, as, as uh, Dmitry Belikov. We went, we went all the way to Moscow, but we found uh, the, the greatest uh, Russian actor and uh, any kind of actor to play that part. That's Daniela Kozlovsky. <laughs> And, uh, and then for you know, our two blood sisters, we uh, lucked out and found two amazing ladies. Uh, Princess Vasilisa Dragomir, played by Lucy Fry. <laughs> and, uh, the, the, and the Rose Hathaway could be no one else but Zoe Deutsch. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, I hope you all like the movie. We had fun making it, and uh, have a great night. Zoe Deutsch was sitting in the same row as I was, but she was like in the middle of the theater. That was the only time I saw her that night. If you want to hear my thoughts on the movie, I will have my review up soon. I have my written review right now up on page to premiere. So after we saw the movie, and I ended with um, the two of us having dinner at a yard house at LA Live. On our way home, I ironically said something about not having Dan Waters' email. And um, that morning after the premiere, we woke up to a personalized email from Dan Waters. Christine and I both got one each. And attached to that letter was the final draft of the script. Dan thought that we would get a kick out of comparing the final script and the final movie. The script is way better than the final movie, in my opinion. A lot of this, people think, is due to luck. What I believe is also due to the will of God. I worked so hard. And Dan just said something just to reassure what I was feeling. And he said he didn't realize that I was the Natasha Polis of Page to Premiere who has been so supportive and heartfelt of the movie. That was just the icing on the wonderful cake that was this last week. And uh, I believe in this movie. If people don't like it, I'm sorry. I loved it. All around, it was just an amazing week. Just to share some of my blessings, I want to do a giveaway for two very special individuals who might be winning something. Usually press event to get swag bags and I happen to get two of them. And I happen to not have an iPhone, so I have a iPhone, I think this might fit a four. I think it could fit a five too. When this iPhone case, very pretty, it's pink and it has gold and sparkles, it says Vampire Academy right here. All you have to do is comment on this video. Comment about anything. Say you want this you want this case, 
Tell me your favorite part of this video. Tell me what you loved about Vampire Academy, any of that. My next item that you could win is the Vampire Academy soundtrack. This has 12 songs from the movie and I've already listened to it a couple times. This one, you are going to have to tweet. I will have a click to tweet link down below. I'm trying to do promotion for Page to Premiere, so you're going to have to tag our Twitter page to premiere in it, and of course follow us on Twitter to win this. And both of these will be announced on, this one will be announced on my Twitter, which is at Toshopolis, just like my YouTube page. And this one will be announced on Page to Premiere. This is coming out of my own pocket to ship, so please be patient if you are the winner. Unfortunately, the giveaway is only going to be in the States. It costs a lot to ship internationally, and again, this is out of my own pocket. So I'm really, really sorry, international fans. Um, hopefully in the future I will be able to do one internationally, but right now those two items are only going to be given away in the States. I'm really, really sorry about that. If you haven't already seen it, make sure to go see Vampire Academy, which is in theaters right now. If you're an international fan, I hope that you will be able to see it soon and so that we can talk about it in my review video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this. Lastly, I want to give a big thank you to Kimmy West, who owns Page to Premiere and who I co-run the website with. Thank you, Kimmy, so much for letting me do this. I want to thank Dan Daniel Waters and our press representative Weinstein Company, my mother for letting us use the car for so long. Of course I need to thank Christine Riccio because you know Christine's just awesome and I totally miss her right now but she will be in LA soon so I'm excited for the future and with the future in mind I'm gonna say bye now. Bye guys see you all in the future.